ASCII Soft, Love Delic, Moon. Hi everyone, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. And one I'm so excited for. If you don't know anything about this game, cool. Me too, mostly. Mao has played this through twice now? Twice now. Has made all sorts of notes to guide me on the journey through Moon. And if you're asking, well, what is Moon and why should I care? Moon is a 1997 PS1 game that came out in Japan. The first game by Love Delic, a company that would make three different games, and that was it. Yeah. They made Love Delic, uh, LOL, and UFO. Three games. Moon. What did I say first? You said the company. Oh. Moon, UFO, and, and, and LOL. So those are the three games that they made. And then the folks that that uh, formed the company kind of split up and made some other companies. One of the companies that they split into and made was Punchline. And Punchline made Chulip. The designer of Chulip that wrote the story and was responsible for so much of Chulip was Yoshiro Kimura. And that is the same person that worked on Moon. In other words... Moon is basically like the spiritual predecessor to Chula. Yes. Um, in like a very big way. And that's something I've always kind of suspected, but now that Mao has played it through twice, she's like, yeah, this is... Yeah. This is basically early Chula. And yeah. I'm like... There are things in this where you will be like, oh, and you can direct a lot of parallels to how the game works and some of the things that happen. Chulip is a 2002 game, so it was only five years between yes. Moon and Chulip. So in those five years, things happened. But um, we had never had a chance to play this because it had never been localized into English. And uh, it just came out in English for the first time like two or three years ago. It's on Switch. There's even like a physical version. We're playing the physical version on Switch. Um, but I think it was also released onto Windows PS5? and I think PlayStation. Yeah. So it's on a few different things now. This is a big deal because Moon was, Moon's kind of regarded as a classic in Japan. It's known as the anti-RPG and uh, it has influenced or the concepts have influenced a lot of other games. Most notably, I think Undertale because people talk about Toby's influences from, from Moon. I'm just really looking forward to playing it. I like how they start this and it makes it seem like a horror game. It feels it's like not, it, doesn't it? It's not. <laughs> it's definitely got some it's definitely got some some very weird vibes. All right, so we're going to get started and um see where this goes. I have game start and continue. Well, you don't have any save files, it's, so. It's it's true. So I will I will start the game. I'm I'm familiar with like the the overarching plot of there is a boy that is playing a video game. And it's the same screen again. <laughs> a phenomenon occurred at the looming mountain boulder upon which the people of Lovedegard dared not tread and called the Dragon Castle. Near the dignified summit of the Dragon Castle lies the Death Crevasse, an impressive cruciform rock fissure. Uh, that was quick. <laughs> a faint heartbeat of darkness lurking within the people of Loveguard, accumulated and synchronized a ripple of distortion, but the moon's holy light, a nexus of absolute darkness. This is very fast. <laughs> Under the influence of this kernel of absolute darkness, the holy indolations into a life form a dragon. It's very fast. <laughs> you will have to go back and pause. Whew. My assumption is that... <laughs> but the mysterious part... The holy sword... He's like, I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> At first I was like, is this because when they when they we they they translated it, they didn't add extra pauses and then on the last screen I was like, <laughs> it's a joke. It's a it's a joke. Push start. New game. 
Is this our player character's name? This is your player character name. Is there like a default player character name? So I found a few different things about what that could be. Uh, okay. Takun is one of the options. Um, if you give no name, like if you don't put any name and just hit OK, this is what comes up. It's uh, po Popepe. Or Popepe. Popepe. Yeah, that's what comes up if you don't put in any name. From what I was reading. I never tried that, but um, when I played the first time, I put like M-A-L and then I put a heart. Okay. So you could put in Chu because that's what we did for Chulip. So I do think that's kind of cute. I also think that that's very cute. I really do like that idea. Um, it's interesting that the default name, assuming that's correct and you put in no name, is Popepe. I believe it was different in Japanese. Probably, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and it doesn't look like there's capitals. So you just, you just, you just chew. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you should put a heart, but yeah. Okay. We will, we will do a heart. Look at this RPG. I love it. You can talk. Oh, minus changes the filtering. Did you know that? Nope. <laughs> yeah, and that, that, I'm sure that's a thing for the the modern version. I'm sure that wouldn't be a thing in on the PlayStation, but you can do. Oh, please leave it sharp. I feel like my eyes go out of focus. Yeah, you can do like this is like nearest neighbor. Okay, I'll leave it sharp. Did you talk to them. His Majesty awaits your triumph. I'm the same person. His Majesty awaits your triumph. Well met, legendary hero. The evil dragon who dwells in the dragon castle has eaten the moon right out of the night sky. Only you can kill the dragon because you are strong, brave, and great. Please kill the dragon. All right. Classic RPG. Dragon. I mean, this is basically kill the dragon. this is basically Dragon Quest. Oh, you got into a battle. A crazy dog draws near. The crazy dog wags its tail. However, nothing happens. The hero attacks. The crazy dog ran away. The hero did not earn any experience points. However, the hero is confident in his current strength. <laughs> I just, I already love this and uh -huh. I'm so excited. The hero is so tough and cool. Don't lose to some dumb dragon. You can voice the Please do your characters. best. I await your triumph. There's good stuff inside that dresser there. Everyone awaits my triumph. The hero investigated the dresser. The hero found some items. Got legendary helmet. Got legendary armor. Got legendary shoes. Is there a... There's not an equip. Don't worry. You're fine. Okay. What was that? I don't know. What just happened? That never happened to me. I don't know. I like glitched. Yeah, I don't know what I touched. Hey, hero, counting on you, champ. Oh la la, hero, so big and strong. This is, this is nothing. Yeah, A makes you kind of stop in place also. All right, let me wander around town to find more fun people to talk to. Oh, everyone, there's no one else, is there? No, you can go south. Okay. <laughs> Brave Warrior, playtime. Minute 18. Load.
Rainbows bring about the world's rebirth. Okay. No. Oh. Another battle. A slime draws near. The hero attacks. The slime's hit points have been reduced by one. The slime attacks. The hero's hit points have been reduced by one. The hero attacks. The slime's hit points <laughs> have been reduced by one. The slime attacks. The hero's hit points have been reduced by one. This just ain't gonna cut it. The hero invoked the holy power. Thunder execute. There is, there's definitely a moment when you, you're just reading that back and forth where your brain is like, oh God, this is what an RPG is, isn't it? Oh Christ. <laughs> Especially like Dragon, like Dragon Quest One and Two and stuff. The hero has defeated the slime. The hero gets five points of experience. Got it. The hero senses an aura of absurd wickedness. The hero decides to change equipment. Equipped legendary helmet. Equipped legendary armor. Equipped legendary shoes. It's a rainbow. A holy rainbow arc appears in front of you. The wicked aura has vanished. I... <laughs> <laughs> you can move mountains with the faith of a mustard seed. The village plates... We're eight hours in now. We are eight hours into this game. <laughs> this spiky card is scary and gross. Hey, hero, can't you do something? Prickles, prickles. A paragon draws near. The hero attacks. The paragon takes 62 damage. Something's happening. The Paragon cloned itself! The hero attacks. Didn't hit Paragon A. Paragon B attacks. The hero takes 58 damage. The hero attacks. Didn't hit Paragon B. Paragon B changed shape! The Paragon was an illusion! The Paragon attacks! The hero deftly dodges the blow. The hero attacks. Critical hit. The paragon takes 142 damage. We're, we're getting there. The hero has defeated the paragon. The hero gets 78 points of experience. Oh man, we're 20 hours in at the Dragon King. Whew. Well, the dragon swallowed the moon. I know. Uh, it's, you're there. It's, I'm there. You're right there. I'm there. I didn't think you th thought it would be. It's a fast game. Yeah. So are you getting any of those tulip vibes yet? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Look at that airship. Wow. We've made it to the airship. Is this the Skyrunner song? <laughs> Don't worry. We took the airship. Oh! Oh, look at that. The penultimizer draws near. The hero expertly flails. 
That's what I do. This did a suitably impressive amount of damage. The hero is gathering their strength. The hero ponders using their ultimate magic. Meteor! There's meatballs? Yeah, it said meat. I know. The hero has defeated the penultimizer. The hero has been promoted to the highest level. Well, then I think we're ready. It's the dragon. That is the dragon. Welcome, great warrior. I am the dragon. I have waited long for one such as thee. Thou art a fool to challenge me. <laughs> A dragon draws near. A chump such as thyself cannot defeat my likes. The hero attacks. The dragon takes 9,999 points of damage. The hero attacks. The dragon takes 9,999 points of damage. The dragon takes 9,999 points of damage. The dragon takes 9,000... The dragon takes... A Nintendo DS copy of <laughs> Deal or No Deal? Okay. Play that game and go to bed. He got a little PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Well, it's bedtime. Didn't I turn off the TV? Whoa! I think we got sucked into the game. We've been sucked into the digital world. Now this is uh, Doki Doki Panic. <laughs> <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Well, we're just kind of cruising, ain't we? Yeah, we really are. <laughs> we are falling through the atmosphere. We don't seem very alarmed. I mean, we're just like, well, this is how it's going to be. Do you recognize them? No, oh, some of them are characters that we had... Just met. Just met. Yes. So we're in the game. And there's the hero. I like that it looks different, like, now that we're in the game, as opposed to when we were playing a game of the game. Also, the, the things are in shapes. There's a cat and a flamingo and a seal and an elephant. The bushes. Yeah, they're topiaries. Okay. Uh, Do you hear their voices? Yes. Do you remember in Chulip how it was like kind of mumbly? Yes. That's what they are. Yeah. But they some of them are different languages. Like one of them is French, and you can catch a few French words every so often. Really? Yes. So, okay. It is kind of a simlish. I knew that... Uh, so one of the things I know about this game is that... Um, the, the music in the game is done by actually a variety of musicians, but some of the core music is mm -hmm. done by the exact same composer as Tulip. Mm -hmm. So there's probably some level of like familiarity with some of the music, mm -hmm. too. Uh, I heard that at this rate, the world will cease to be. So the rumors were true. You mean about getting about the moonlight getting eaten? They're sending somebody to kill it, apparently. Maybe we can finally live in peace after all. Bunch of cravens? Aw, oh, poor Baker. I don't I, mind. Oh. I don't mind. After all, I... We got as many cowards as jerks in this town. Oh, I guess I can't leave town. You can't, not yet. Alright, so let's go up. 
I seem to be uh, invisible. I'm not really known. Mm -mm. Huh. Hey, did you say something? Why? Well, I, I ain't saying nothing. Okay, further in. Oh, it's the hero. And the king. And the minister. The time has come for you to depart. The time has come. You must quest forth to the final dungeon. The dragon. I'll quest forth. Before reaching level two, you must gain 300 points of experience. 300. Hero, Godspeed. So we're experiencing the game from the beginning. Yes. Because now the hero is at level... Level one. Yes, what is it, your highness? I did not speak. So they can hear me. What did you say? I did not speak. They can kind of hear you. So they are, they are at least like somewhat aware of my presence. Okay. So what happened in the game before? Do you remember what happened right here? Everyone praised the hero. They await his triumph. Do you remember he got into a battle? He fought a dog. And the dog ran away? Yeah. Earthbound is different than I remember. <laughs> You can just chase them off. Okay. Cute little birdies. That guy looks like a bone and fired birch bonanza. Why don't you make some nice picture postcards? Hmm, there's got to be something that the kids will bonker out about. Ah, so you seek to maximally engage your customers. I haven't a clue what today's youth appreciate. Don't you ever dream of making it big? Me? Of course not. I've never bothered with that dream. Curio, you sure are a go-getter. I did see him chase a dog by... Um... You can keep going left. I want to I want to explore this area and see what else is here before I move left. Oh, this area might be big. It's it's got some things to it. That's you. I feel like wacky times are soon upon us. Look at this idiot chasing a stray dog. Is this the guy we want to trust to kill our dragon? Oh, shambles, you do always speak your mind. I must say, I dislike such negativity. Dislike me all you want. I ain't asking you to like me. Why, I never. Why, I swear, Shambles, how could you say such a thing? <laughs> Come on now, quit your wailing. This is why I hate kids and women. <laughs> I said quit that crying. <laughs> uh, Shambles is extremely honest. <laughs> Am I okay to go, like, around here, or do I need um, to check out the sh the flora shop first? There's nothing to the right, there's nothing in flora shop, but there is something northwest. I can go in the flora shop? I don't know if you can right now. No. Oh, there's a little... But there's dog. There's dog. Oh, he peed on me. <laughs> Man. Man. That guy really wants to kill that dog. He needs experience to get to a level. Uh, yeah. Oh god, was Ness the bad guy? <laughs> Jesus, can I even go left? Yes. Okay. I thought you could. <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay. I'm gonna go to the right. 
is he uh, is he gonna catch that dog? I don't know that I <laughs> want him to catch that dog. All right, it wants you to go south. All right, that is where I went in the game. Yeah. All right, I'm heading south. And we'll see where we where we land. Castle in Castletown. This away. All right, we'll go this direction. Okay, there's a little building. Oh, it's the dog. The dog got away. Hello, is somebody there? Tal, honey, calm down, my little friend. Do you happen to be Chu Spade? Chu Spade, is that you? Didn't we put in heart? We did. And it's now it's a spade? All right. Yeah! Oh, my sweet Chu has come back to me. Where have you been for all this time? <laughs> that feels also like it's been so long since we played Julep. Where have you been? Please never leave your Granby all alone ever again. I had a feeling something good was going to happen today. Now, now, come right over here and tell me all about it. The people in town thought you'd died, Chu. Not me, of course. I always believed that my grandbaby would come back. Welcome back, Chu, mumble, snore. Granby has fallen asleep. I was trying to talk to dog. Okay. Pop in bed? Is there anything else in here? No, not at this point. Well, then I guess I'm going to get in bed. I did it. I got in bed. That's you. Chew, my chew. I mean, presumably. It is. <laughs> Lo Lover's Tree, is that you? It is, actually. It's basically Lover's Tree? Like I was saying that some things you're going to be like, oh, this is that. <clears throat> Welcome to Moon World. This is the Moon Queen. Okay. Are you going to be able to do the same level? No, of I can't. Do you want to voice Moon Queen? <laughs> Welcome to Moon World. I always believed that someday you would come here. I am the one who will guide you on your way. Do you know what the most precious thing in Moon World is? It is love. Like kisses? The power to see the unseeable, the secret key to touch the untouchable. Only those with hearts full of love can traverse Moon World. However, your love needs time to ripen. You are level one, love's awakening. Listen, you must gather love with all your strength and will. Then you must use your power to open the door of light. Now awaken. Devote yourself to the people of Moon. Let us meet again in another dream. Oh. Tao. Don't be so noisy, precious. You'll wake up too. Hmm? Good morning, Chu. I hope you slept well. Oh, yes. I put out your favorite clothes. Wait a second. Mm 
Here, try this on. How splendid. You've come back to me. Now you and I and Tao are together again. I've got clothes and I'm visible. Oh, yes. Your Granby baked you some cookies. Take one. You got homemade cookie. Pause. Pause. Okay. And I've got a menu which just shows status. I've got no money. I have four heart action limit. It's Each one of those little hearts is a fourth of a uh, an eighth of the clock. Okay. So I can do a half of a day's work. Clock, yes. Okay. And it's currently crescent day. And that's just one of the days of the week? There are seven days of the week. But it's the second week? Or is that... It's the second week, I guess. <laughs> that means nothing. Okay. So, yeah, leave it there for a second. Do you see the clock in the top left? Yes. The red line is going to move around the clock. Okay. When it gets to the red arrow... If you're not in bed by then, you will die. <laughs> oh. And the yellow side is daylight, and the blue side is nighttime. You have to be in bed before night. Correct. Well, before it gets to the red thing. Because there's like so as, there's a day and there's a night. So maybe the, the red triangle moves further? It will. Okay. And the, the moon there is crescent day, because it's crescent. Okay. And then there is stereo. Okay, we're, we want stereo and then config, which is just the screen adjust. You can hit menu and hit right to go into your... Oh! Okay, and then I have cookie. Can uh -huh. I check these things? No. Well, you can use it, eat it, or stock it. You should save it for now. What so. is what is stock? Um, Go back to the last menu. Okay. See the bottom right stock? Yeah, is it sent it to the You can put items home? in stock. Mm -hmm. if, you can go into it. And so these are all your categories, and as you stock things, it's like a secondary menu to save things in. Because your main menu, you only get so many spots, but this is everything else. Ah, the six food groups. <laughs> food, fish, chip, junk, tool. Etc. Card. I guess that's seven things. Okay. Does left do anything? Left Not do currently. Anything. So if I use cookie, is that like eat it? Or is that different than- you? I don't know what use actually. Use is normally give to someone, but you want to save cookie. Cookie will maybe save your life. Oh my God, okay. All right, well then I will hold on to cookie. So talk to Granby again. Uh, sure. Oh, Chu, where have you been? And what have you been doing? Your Granby was so worried, though now everything is fine because my little Chu came back to me. Oh my, yes, Chu. Could you go buy bread for me at the castle town? It'd be just like old times. Here, take some yenum. Don't drop it anywhere. Okay, so our currency is yenum. It's money backwards. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I'm um, going to so pause it here because time is going even inside the Did you the see the little red flicker next to that moon up there? When yeah, it's not like paused? a little dot? That means time is progressing. There's times when time doesn't progress. Okay. Well, we are we are gonna stop here, but um, man, this this is mm, this has got a lot of parallels to Tulip, like a whole lot. So this is gonna be a very very interesting adventure. <laughs>